Okay, moving to, I guess, also a very creative topic. So this one is uh, Team Nokia from Porto Polytechnic in Portugal and University of Science and Technology in China. <laughs> So, hello everyone. Let's see the picture first. I mean, rubber boots, paper, cell phones. Can you guys tell what do they have in common? Make a guess. I'm finished. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Okay. It's no kid. Nokia has reinvented itself for several times during its history. Starting as a paper maker, Nokia now is one of the leaders in telecommunication and 5G technology. Nokia has over 150 years history and over, uh, over 100,000 employees across 130 countries all over the world. In such a mega company, there are thousands and thousands of ideas coming up every day. And it, it is really hard to know which one is the best. So, they came to us. We are Team Nokia from Portugal and China. And the challenge we are facing up to is, how is it possible to know the real potential of Nokia's ideas? A tough one, right? <laughs> so, we go to interview our users, Nokia employees. We found actually they have a lot of ideas they are eager to share. However, the submitting process is too complex and takes too much time. Then they give up. And then, even if they do submit ideas, they may never get feedbacks which is frustrating considering the effort and time they spent. And then, they may never try again. Another thing we find is that the, our users are already overwhelmed by computer softwares and apps, because it's their job, right? So doing another one won't help anymore. It may be become another burden. So. We have to have an object to let them submit ideas. <coughs> so by now we had understood three main problems. The first is that submission is hard, takes too long, it's very complicated. The second, even when they do go through that process, they get no feedback, which is so frustrating, so they give up the next time. Um, and then there's this general overwhelm with softwares, and so there was a need to have an object, something physical that they can hold in their hands and really associate with the submission of ideas. And so we tested with a few different kinds of objects, but all of them were something new that was planted into the company. Um, we were putting new things there, and our users told us we don't want new objects. So this was another challenge. We now had to find something that, uh, you know, all Nokia employees have, that's not a smartphone or a computer, that's portable, so they can take everywhere, uh, they can use anywhere, that's light. Well, it's a challenge, so maybe you can help us with this. Um, I would ask you to look around. Uh, most people around you are wearing something on them. That's a hint, not clothes. Um, try to guess? I see over there uh, a very good ID card. All Nokia employees were wearing ID cards around their necks every day to use basically for two seconds. Clocking in, clocking out. What a waste. Right? What a waste of a perfectly good object. And we thought, why not take this object that they're wearing around constantly every day and put in a platform for submission of ideas. And so we would like to introduce you to IDEA, <laughs> which is a digital identification card with a platform that provides for an easy and fast submission of ideas. 
making it so simple that potentially no idea in Nokia is ever lost again. Bold proposition. So how do we plan to accomplish this? Well, first, uh, the, this platform has a virtual assistant that helps you through the process of submitting the idea, making very simple questions such as title, description, cost, feasibility, impact, and within a minute, you can have your idea submitted. And once you do submit your idea, you're gonna feel like you need feedback. And so you get exactly that from your peers, through comments, through likes. You get to share with other people who can make, maybe help this idea grow. And then users feel like they're really being heard, which makes them feel like keep posting ideas. Another thing that we found was um, a lot of people told us, I don't really know what my coworkers are working on, what are their problems, how can I help them? And other people told us, we have problems, but I don't really know how to solve them. There was a need to connect people with problems and people with ideas. And so we give them the opportunity to also submit challenges, share their pain points with others, and get help, get suggestions from their peers, which makes for a more efficient problem solving. So these three are really the three main functions of this platform. The others that I'm going to present to you are bonuses. So for instance, there's this networking component where you get the opportunity to find ideas and challenges that are new by you inside the company. And if we find them interesting, you can just look up where the person is and go talk to them. Really create a face-to-face -face connection, uh, create a conversation. You know, it's, it, it's Nokia, they like connecting people. <laughs> uh, then there is a gamification component. So we understood that people were more likely to keep submitting ideas if the community was active, if you kept getting comments, more ideas, more challenges. And so the most active users are rewarded and they are recognized in a ranking. Not just the ones with more ideas or more challenges, but really the ones who participate the most. And it's still an ID card, right? It still has to display your identification, your photo, um, provide access into the company, clock in, clock out. So it should replace the ID card. It still has all the basic functions of an ID card. Essentially, that's it. Uh, we really believe that uh, like Nokia asked us to find the potential of Nokia's ideas. And the path to this is really through giving Nokia employees the power to share their ideas with others. Um, now we'd love to hear all your questions, talk to you. If not right now, we're in that booth over there. Uh, we'd love to give you a little demo, show you how it works. Thank you so much. on stage, do we have any questions in the eye? Okay, we immediately do a couple of, do one from the back, front, and then back again. <laughs> okay, I guess we do this and then two in the back. <laughs> right. Hi, thanks for the, for the presentation. Um, what is Nokia's stance on swapping out a cent, uh, cent cost plastic card with a multi, I guess, $100 um, digital device? That's, that's a good question. Uh, it would probably not be $100. Our estimation right now, as the technology is, would be around 40 But we believe that this cost would greatly increase over the next five to 10 years because it uses a lot of components of a smartphone and those are more and more advanced. Uh, but still, it is a lot more expensive than your typical ID card, right? Um, what uh, a lot of our users suggested was that we could also, in the future, obviously, include other functions that would sort of justify the, the initial cost. Uh, some of the other functions that they have suggested that they would love to have included, for instance, uh, uh, setting up meetings with it, getting notifications, uh, using their... Um, they, they use this software for communicating within each other, and it could be implemented there. So it would 
uh, ultimately justify the upfront cost, and also it's customizable. So every time that a uh, Nokia employee, for instance, leaves, it can be uh, replaced and it can be used for another person. So that would be it. There's two questions in the back. In the minute, in the minute, it says they had their hand up. Sorry. Yeah, I think it works now. Um, my question is, why would you use a specific ID card instead of using an app? That's a great question that we get a lot, you know. Um, uh, we, what we felt when we interviewed and what we heard from Nokia employees is that they were using a lot of apps on their, on their phones, they had lots of them, and they really couldn't keep track of all of them, especially since Nokia is a company in the recent years that has merged with so many different companies. They have all of these apps and softwares that overlap between each other and people cannot keep track of the amount. And so we felt from them that they really didn't want another app or another software. And if we were to give it to them, potentially maybe 30% would install them and then 5% would use it at first and then that would decrease over time. Um, we believe that having uh, this object with you as something that you can identify as this is my thing for submission of ideas would in increase the use of it. But potentially, yeah, uh, an app could do the same functions. It's just that we really feel that it should be a, a device as, as itself. So, so hold on, there's lots of questions. So I, I think, yeah, Asatosh, you have it, but then there's a person in yellow that's been waiting since the beginning. So Asatosh, go ahead, and then the so, person in yellow. Uh, how often do you have to recharge it? Because I don't want to uh, have one more device recharged every day. Yeah, that's a great point. Potentially, we would like, um, right now it isn't, but what we have a, a, as far as concept, it would be wireless recharge. And so we, you would have a platform on your desk that you could just pull it out. Actually, I have it here with me. So it's magnet, and you can just pull it out, put it on your desk. It's sort of constantly recharging and then it's always charged, right? You don't need to think, oh, I need to take out my ID card and go charge it, because it's always there, it's always with you, it's magnet, so it's very simple. Um, so, um, I'm just wondering, uh, what is your targeting uh, customers and uh, markets um, for this product? Uh, is it like, and uh, uh, what kind of like, um, competitors do you identify in terms of this uh, project? Thank you for your question. Uh, right now, regarding market, this would be for uh, Nokia internal use only. As far as what our challenge was, potentially it could then be implemented into other companies uh, if they chose that they would want to open it. Uh, for instance, Nokia is one of the largest, um, how do you say, uh, 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 how do you, I'm sorry, they, they sell a lot of technology to other companies is what I mean. And so potentially they could do that. Um, but right now it would be for internal use in Nokia and Nokia global offices. Okay, okay. Um, another question. Um, first, thank you. I think there's yeah, a lot of passion what you do and um, I'm still not so convinced about um, the effort. You put a lot of effort in, in designing a device and talk about this all the problems that are linked to it. Um, I would rather ask the question into the sense because you collect ideas. So who needs this and what's happening with the ideas? Typically we have, there's a lot of idea management, innovation management tools around and the key problems will be the same for you. So what's happening with the ideas? Where are the incentives? Um, where is the impact generated? Because otherwise you will have the nicest device but the problems will be still the same. So, so who will start to work on, on this, these problems that will create the real impact? Thank you for your question. It's, it's a very, very valid question because when we started working on this, pro on this project uh, and we were asked how to find the potential of Nokia's ideas, we researched, okay, what's the path of an idea inside of a company? And we realized that it's very long. It can take very different routes. But usually you have some submission, uh, decision, which is choosing what ideas to invest in, and execution. Uh, and we researched all of those and tried different prototypes on, on every one, 
And aside from the fact, as we already mentioned, that submission was really the biggest pain point of our users, um, it is that we also understood that we really couldn't uh, maybe improve decision or execution without having the ideas first. And uh, our sponsors at Nokia had softwares for a submission of ideas, and they told us that they weren't really being used. And so they couldn't even improve maybe the decision and execution without having the ideas up front. And so this is our way to say, here's a boost, here's the data that you need to then continue on um, into the next stages. But uh, submission was our user's biggest pain point. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah.